created this query and we were able to fetch data and we looked at some few things so in this video as i said we'll be creating we'll be seeing how we can make queries to create to do's so let's get into it without much ado so it's class now here the difference between mutations and queries is that for queries you could just place all the queries inside one class and just make resolve for, for each query but for mutations then you create a class for each so for instance here you just create class and then let's create call it for, we'll make two for creating and for updating so create to do so the create to do text in graphene extends graphene dot mutation so it extends graphene dot mutation in the here again it has another class which is just class for arguments or oh, just before we do that we know that after creating a to do we are expected to return a to do so just put it here because we will be making a to do so create a to do and then after cl class it expects some arguments so the arguments will simply be the first here if you can go to the model we see we have user we have title timestamp place so this one and this one are something you don't want the user to be passing so you just have to come over here and just say the first one we need is place which is where is the event taking a place at so it's place which is equals to just graphing that string because i think here we really need to make it just int because i think it's not cool when we have it in string as we did in the last video it was just for demo but let's just make it string and then again we have another one we make it required equals to true then again required which means that user must pass them if you don't make required then user could just evade them and this one is title and then again we have date which is something I just did press control s control shift s so it's date so the reason date time the reason we are not making this time a date time over here is because Django will expect you to pass the data time from a from front end i don't know how you will pass a python data time from front end so we make it string but we'll make it to be in format for that django knows to be data time like you normally do in forms so the next one is again over here you normally have another method so this is a class method so class method method really bad and then it's def and then you normally call it new dead so you call it new dead take in cls and then it takes in root and info and then you know it has the place it's expecting you to pass place it expects you to have the title so you basically after after these three these three arguments you start passing your own arguments over here which are these arguments you have over there so it's place title and then the the last one is as we say it is date time so they have to be those arguments and then you just come and return a, a return a create return to do dot objects dot create and then you are creating a to do so we, the to do has a place argument which is basically place and then it has title which is title and then it has date time which is date time okay before i forget let me put that there and then just that is it so what could we be forgetting i hope nothing so let's create the one for updating 
so but now we know that these four updating expect at least an id which is i don't know why i had to pass this but this is not really required this one i hope i've not been doing this because why does it why do i have to? so okay doing that so and then update to do and then this expect argument id because you want to say which i which uh, you want to specify which to do you are trying to edit so i hope it's clear and then we just pass here id and then instead of creating we are just trying to get where id is equals to id and user is equals to info dot context dot user so to do dot objects dot get where user is that and that but we are not returning so we say to do is equals to and then now we start editing the to do so we say to do dot place is equal to place and then to dot save and then finally return to do whatever is happening here return and then just say to do so now after creating a to do you have to register the, them so to registering to do you register them in a class called mutation and then it's it basically it doesn't have to be mutation but you could name anything we could even say to do mutations and then to do mutations expects object type which is just the same as the one for graphing here and then it leaves it has something like now the names of these things so you could say create to do which is create to do dot field because here you specify what you are trying to create so like this create to do is related to doing what so that is it create to do and then another one is update to do is equals to update to do the field again so that is it now we have again to just finally register here now you do mutation is equals to mutation is equals to to do mutation so if everything is if we've done everything right then i think us coming over here and refreshing this got an expected keyword in muta mutation 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 i'm sorry about that so now we have it over there so guys as of now this all of this code is in github you can go check it out and download or just check the branches and just refer to them for everyone so that you can keep track of where we are so up to there so goodbye and have a nice time